Okay, today we're going to talk about a few ways to import templates into Excel Pro. If you receive some templates from me or anybody else, um, it may have come in a zip file. You'll need an unzipped utility. You can go to Google and find one, like WinZip or something like that. Uh, once you have it installed, or if you have Vista, Vista comes with an unzipping utility. You need to right click and extract all, I believe it is. Um, I'm going to extract mine to its own folder by right clicking. Here's my folder. So I'm going to open my folder and I have several templates inside. Uh, the first way I'll show you is just importing the XSE file. That's the Excite Pro file that you can just import one, one file only. I'm going to double click. You can see here's an XSE file. These other four here are for putting the template into the template selector. And plus I'll show you a new way of doing that in version 2. So back to Excite Pro. I'm going to add a project. Call it Xtest. Here it is down here. Next I'll use the import button, one left click, and browse to my XSE file I want to import. Click open. Successfully imported. I'll double click on the template down here. And our template opens up. This is what it looks like. Go to web pages tab and we can add our first page. You can call it what you like. I'm going to leave it at new page. Click create. And here's our page, which now we can go to our design tab and put in some text. When I click preview, it'll open up in a web browser, which I'm using Firefox, and this is what our template looks like. And this section here will get longer as I fill in more content. Um, so that's one way of importing a template. And now that we've imported this template, if we want to use it for the in the Excite Pro template selector. So when you create a new website, you want to have this template ready to be used as a new template. We can go to Tools, save this template. I'll choose the category, and if this is the first time we've gone to user created, this folder does not exist yet. But when we use it now, it'll be created for us. And I don't want to. I do not want to include the publishing details. And I do not want to include web pages. I just want the template by itself. I'll create. I'll click on create template. Click OK. Now, when I close this template out, and I go to add a website. This is now active, and I have that one template in here I can use. So that's one way to bring the templates into the website template selector under the user created section. Now I'll show you a different method to do the same thing. Now here's a different way to get templates into the template selector under the user created section. If you click on Start and My Documents or Documents in, in Version or in Vista, and then go to Excite Pro Data, Resources, and Templates. If this is the first time here, you'll have to create a folder called User Created. You can just right click, New Folder, and then call it User Created. Since I already have mine here, I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to open up another template here. Go to template 17. I'm going to grab the JPG file, the thumbnail, the text file, and the import XSE file. I can click on one. 
hold down shift and left click on the other end, it'll select all four. I'll right click and copy. And inside of the user created folder, I'll right click and paste. So now you can see, now we have eight files in here, which is enough for two templates. So back into Excite Pro. Now when I add a website and go to user created, there should be two templates in there now. There's one and there's one. So that's how you can load up templates into the template selector on the, on the user created section.